Well, here I am in my foyer, and I'm going to do a video today of opening some packages. But I'm starting with the first thing that arrived the other day. This is going, going to be a whole wall unit for me to store my tarot cards and maybe some videos, crystals. But it's so heavy that I wasn't able to drag the, the, the shorter box into the house. So I had to cut it and start moving some of the contents over to the meditation room floor. So here's the meditation room floor, and so far this is what I have gotten out of it. But I did so much damage to my body trying to lift these heavy boxes that I need a couple of days rest from trying to put everything together. So anyway, going back here to the boxes, this box here still is half full. So I'm going to empty that sometime today, and the other box, which I haven't even touched, uh, that will get empty today as well. So I'm going to have, by the end of the day, these boxes out of here. So you can kind of follow me along here. <laughs> and I'm going to head to the bedroom. Here's the family gallery. <laughs> and here's the kitty cat. Hi everybody, well I'm back. Um, I did empty that one box and break it up, so I will have to get back out there and break up the other one. But I have some other packages here that I have to open, so I will go through it. But first I wanted to show you, this is the booklet that comes with that unit that I have to put together. Now, when I opened it up, I thought I was going to have a heart attack. This, this is the book. These are the pieces. But then you get to uh, the parts, and this is the hardware. That's all the hardware that has to go into it. But there are pages and pages of instructions. Pages and pages of instructions. I mean, look at this. <laughs> oh my God, and it goes on and on and on. I mean, it doesn't stop. Pages. <laughs> my my dearest friend Kay said, June, don't do this alone. Call me and let me come over and help you with this. Now, my dear friend is dyslexic. If I showed her this book, I think she would have a stroke. <laughs> so I'm not going to have her come over and help me with this. Maybe if I can figure out some of the parts and I need somebody to hold something. But she would get so frustrated, she would just go nuts. So anyway, I just thought I'd share with you the booklet here. I may be calling in the professionals to put this thing together. So the other thing that I bought yesterday, my friend Kay and I, we did a Costco run. And I went there for just a few things, you know, like two bottles of wine, some pecorino, Romano cheese, uh, some more cashews, you know, a few things. And they had two people there demoing this amazing foot massager. So I am now the owner of a med massager. And I have to say, it's pretty remarkable. I mean, I usually don't just buy something that people put on my body because it feels good, but this thing was amazing. And they had two of them. They had one that you sort of hand do your back and your legs and stuff, and then they had another one for your feet. So Kay got the one for the feet. I got the one for the rest of the body because uh, they told me that I, for me wanting it mainly for my back, you can't use the foot one for your back, but the one that I bought, you can use all over your body. So I got that. But the thing about this is it is a certified medical device and it uh, reduces inflammation. You can only use it for 15 minutes at a time and then you have to take an hour's rest in between. And that 15 minutes using either the foot massager or the one I have is the equal of doing a four mile walk in terms of how much it ups your circulation in your body. And, you know, even if it didn't do that, it felt so good on my sore back. Because after this last fall that I took, my body doesn't want to be healing. So I'm taking hemp oil, I'm doing this, I'm resting from the garden, and Mother Gaia has been very good in giving us rain, so it's keeping me out of the garden and not getting into trouble anymore. So I'm shopping. What else can I do? Shopping and cooking. So anyway, that's my little new machine, purchase number two. Now, this came in the mail, and I think I know what this is, but I will open it anyway. Uh, lovely Becca Hale 
from Intuition Tarot was talking about the Florida water, which I had never heard of. And so I bought me some. And now I know what I'm supposed to do with it. But uh, I thought it was, you know, something you drank. And, uh, and the bottle, when it arrived, said it's a cologne. Okay, here we go. So now I've got two bottles to be able to use with the um, Florida water. And it can do a spray. It can do like a mist spray. So I'm going to be I'm going to be running around the house probably tomorrow, misting everything. So that's that one. Now let's see what else I got. Oh, here I think this is a stone. So let's see what this one is here. Ta da! Uh, oh, this is one of those packages that even a good scissor doesn't want to do much work on. That's probably because there's a lot of bubble wrap in here. I bet you. So let me see. Ah, time to get maybe the knife, little not my little handy knife. As you know, if you watch my videos before, my father always taught me to carry a knife with me. And I found years ago this little wonderful Swiss Army type knife that has a scissor in it. And so I can carry it all the time in the garden and it has a little like saw-like thing in it. And you can get them with different configurations, but this one works fine for me. Because with the larger ones, I found of giving one away to my grandson because I couldn't open things. They're so stiff, they wouldn't open. So I wound up uh, breaking nails and getting frustrated. So I thought, well, I really don't need anything that big. I mean, I'm not going in the army. <laughs> you know, I'm, not, uh, I'm not any major big builder of anything. So let me just get a little tiny one that doesn't weigh much and I can carry with me all the time. So that's what I have. Oh, I got it open. Ta -da. Okay, so what what do we have here? I think this is in this. Do you like oh, let's see how it's packaged. Little pretty pretty color. One of my favorite colors. Blue. Blue and lavender. I'm a blue lavender and pink girl. Oh yes, okay, this is as this to light. This is supposed to be a very high vibrational stone. I had one years ago, a little tiny piece of one. They're all usually pretty tiny or they're very expensive. And this is some healing information for a Zestulite. And what does it say? It says, this kit contains hand-picked high energy Zestulite crystals or stones that are cleansed, charged, and ready to work for you. Okay. And so it goes on and on about our angels and stuff. I won't bore you with the little ad. And then there's, this is where I got it from. I got it directly from the mine, as is to light mine. And it's in a very pretty little package. I think it's so tiny that they're probably putting all these packaging things around it because it's going to be the smallest crystal on the planet. Let's see. Yep, there's another piece of paper there. Okay, so... Well, it says it's ready and ready to be used. It's been charged, but I will still clear it myself. Oh, it's a nice size. It's, it's a lot better size than the one I got from Heaven and Earth years ago. Look. Get it really close up. It's a nice size, and it has a natural termination point. The one that I got years ago did not have a natural termination point. One, two, three, four, five. And it's, it's seven-sided. The, the front face is seven-sided. Oh, how really nice. That is a very nice little crystal. Okay, let me put it here so that I don't lose it. Okay, so next package. This is the last package. I think I know what this is. I hope it is what I think it is. Um, I've been waiting for an indie deck. And, uh, oh, by the way, I also went to uh, Barnes & Noble yesterday to return the second a rider weight deck and I forget the name of it now but it's a beautiful deck I love it and the, the first one I ordered came with like nine cards the left top corner was peeling away so last night I got the glue and I sat very carefully gluing those nine corners but to be on the safe side two days ago three days ago I ordered a backup from, and this time from Barnes & Noble because the first one I ordered from Amazon. So I thought, well, maybe if I order it from Barnes & Noble, it'll be a different batch. And it came in, and I'm going through the cards, and wouldn't you know it, 
on the top right of one face of one card, there's a little round area where the the color mist either in it either got scratched in the machine or the color missed it when it was printed. And in an area that is light brown, there's this little white spot glaring. So I had to take it back. And then when I took it back, they didn't have another one in stock and they don't have any in the warehouse either. So then drive back home another half an hour or more and get on the internet and I ordered another one from the same person that I ordered it from, from Amazon again. So let's see if the third one <laughs> will be okay. But I like the deck so much, you know, and uh, I didn't want to mess with it. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, it's the wrong deck. It's the Sacred Creator's Oracle. She sent this to me by mistake. I had written to her to cancel the order because I ordered it by mistake. I wanted to order the tarot cards. And so I'm not going to open this. I'm going to have to find it, how, how she wants me to send this back. I ordered the tarot, I wanted to order tarot cards and I mistakenly ordered that and I quickly got back to her. But I guess she was getting so much last minute mail because she had opened up the ordering one day for a couple of hours to get the other deck, which had already been closed down. And uh, so she wasn't answering her emails. She wasn't answering the phone. In fact, when I called and left a message, it said she might not get to it in a couple of days. And then she finally did get to it, and she did cancel the Oracle order. But for some reason, after the fact, she just sent me the Oracle now. But then she did say that she saw that I did have the deck in line to be sent. So I got an email from her a few days ago saying the deck was on the way. So evidently, that's not the one I was expecting. So that's it for me for today. I'm going to go back out in the hallway and I'm going to open that other box and get everything put away into the uh, meditation room and get the box cut up and put it in the recycle bin with the other box. I was hoping that was going to be the deck I wanted so that I could do a review for you today, but uh, I'm not going to do that. So I'll say good night or good morning or good afternoon whenever you're receiving this. And I wish you all wonderful a wonderful day. Oh, and I, I can pick an ascension card. So hold on, let me get my ascension cards. Here we go. Okay, ask my guys, my guardian angels, Lord Michael, to help pick a card for everybody for today. So let's see, pick a card for all the viewers and myself today. Let's find that. <laughs> it wants to pick three or four. Oh. I think we have gotten this one before. It says, abundance is your birthright. You claim that abundance by speaking and acting in a manner which affirms and supports that universal truth. I think this has come up before. And I have like, I don't know, 40, at least 44 cards or more in here. So that keeps coming up. So I guess we have to be reminded that we are abundant. I remember my my spiritual teacher saying, uh, be grateful for the abundance in your life, even if the abundance is the amount of rain or sunshine you see on that day. So I think that's very good advice. So again, I'll say good night, good day, good afternoon, good morning to all who are watching, and send you my love, and namaste everybody.